Hello people, welcome to the video. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and share the hell out of this video. I'm feeling really excited today. In fact, I'm feeling so excited, I've got myself a Tesco's Pink Lemonade, and I only drink these on rare occasions, because I've had an idea about the sensor in the Sony A7S III, which has been announced, or at least it will be announced, on the 28th of July. So that's coming up, and this is a camera that a lot of people have been waiting for. And there's been a lot of talk about what will the sensor be like? Will it be able to compete with the new Canon camera, the new R5 camera, which has 8K um, recording? And there's a lot of talk about Sony just sticking with the 4K video, maybe using a 24 megapixel sensor and it might do a 6K video. Well, I think that Sony, who built the, and this is going to give you a clue as to how I think the sensor is going to be in the a7S III, um, is that the, the sensor in the new um, drone, the Mavic Air 2 from DJI, uses something called a quad Bayer sensor. So how does that work? Well, let's put, just have a drink of this, give me a sec. I'm so excited. So my, my chair's creaking. Let's pretend that this is a pixel, okay, one of your camera pixels, and the quad Bayer effectively allows it to switch from being a single pixel. Can you see that? I've drawn a cross there. The light might be a little bit too bright on it, but that's, that's basically, I've turned this into four, yeah? So what it does is it basically makes one pixel four pixels. So that means that you could have a 12 megapixel sensor, and with the quad Bayer technology, you could go up to 48 megapixels. So why do I think something like this will be in the new Sony A7S3 camera? Well, it makes sense, think about it. Sony A7S series cameras have always been good at low light, okay? They've been low light beasts. And videographers know that low light performance is really important. In fact, many would argue that it's more important to have good low light performance than to have more um, resolution, okay? so. Doesn't it make sense that you could have a 12 megapixel camera which will excel in low light situations, but with the quad Bayer technology, this will take the A7S III up to 48 megapixels, allowing it to do 8K video. This is why I'm so excited. Now, obviously it's just a theory, it's just an idea that I've got. I mean, if Sony wants to I don't know, enlist me, I can work on their design team if they've not done this and maybe they think, I've got a great idea. Um, not but I'm blowing my own trumpet, but just think about it, guys. You could have a 12 megapixel low light beast of a camera and then you could have a 48 megapixel resolution which will allow you to do 8K video recording and it would be full frame 8K, no crop. The entire sensor will be used. And it also means that you can go from having poor low light performance. So you could do, for example, um, 4K. You only need 8 megapixels for 4K. So you could have 12 megapixels. Um, you could have nice, fantastic low light performing 4K. And then you could have 6K middle of the road with a little bit of binning, pixel binning. Um, and then you could have the full 8K resolution. So I know it's been a quick video. I've mumbled it a little bit. Um, simply because I'm excited. I'm excited about the announcement of the announcement for this camera. Um, I've had a Coke just before I started this, so I'm a little bit buzzing. And now I've got a pink lemonade just to finish that off, just to take the edge off the Coke. Mm. But yeah, um, those are my predictions. Um, leave comments at the bottom. I'm, I'm interested in um, hearing what you think. Do you think I've got, you know, do you think I might be right? Have you got ideas about how you think this um, sensor technology in the A7 III is going to go? Um, what are your predictions? And be nice. And until next time, um, be careful, do something interesting, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ra.